Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. And where did that last 10 minutes go? Man, time flies when you're having fun. What's the deal with that? Okay, I got this one all cleaned up. I'm gonna give you a close up of these edges. This is what we strive for. See them nice, perfect, clean edges all the way around. No bubbles, no chips, nothing to fix. That's what that clay job gets you. Going over it with a magnifying glass and uh, just perfect. You've got to get these others done. Got my elevator done. It's the same way. <coughs> just perfect. Looks beautiful. This is just on there to hold it. I didn't glue this into this a stab. It's just I was, drilled a hole and stuck it in there. So I don't want to bump it and knock it loose. But it came out just perfect. My ailerons came out perfect, even in there. Now all I gotta do is I gotta sponge that old mold release off. Look at my fingers, see? That stuff just comes right off, man. And then use a drill bit and put me a couple of alignment pins in there. Wax her up. Spray some part off. Hit it with some resin. But I'm going to get them all ready today. And to where I could start early in the morning. And get them all done. Sit here and watch some bundies. Make some videos. don't want to happen is this to pop out. You don't want that to happen. Because you just can't get them parts back in there as good as they are right now. It just ain't going to happen. And then what will happen is your part will be sitting up a little bit off the bottom I'll end up with a big fat edge back here and it's just going to be right, you know? testing on that parachute some more he's going to post it up as a video response to this video so you guys go check out the shoot he's got a pretty ingenious way of uh, connecting it to the plane 
to where when you throttle up, it'll actually release the parachute. Uh, so that way, if it happens to come out in flight, it won't stay connected to the plane as long as you got power up. You know, so if it deploys in flight, it won't crash the plane. What Tom Cook used to do is just attach it to the plane with like two pound test fishing string. To where if it popped out in flight, it would just break the string instead of crashing your airplane. But uh, the way Butch does it, after we land, we and you know, it popped the shoot out, and get slowed down, all we gotta do is throttle up and it'll release the chute and we taxi back. Now that scale. <laughs> That'll be cool. I've had a couple F4s with chutes on them and I've never did that. I always had to taxi back with them things just back there flopping. stab thinking that one piece is going to lock my part on you know the where this goes through the rudder or the vertical part I don't think it will I think it might lock my molds together and uh, just pop them off apart from the trailing edge and they'll come right off that's the plane anyway oh doggone it forgot to set the ball with the timer Stand that razor blade up like that. Scrape her down. So what do y'all got planned this weekend? It's cold where you are too? <laughs> nah, it's not that cold here anymore. A little cold snaps over with. Still cool out. And normal like normal, Kansas, the dang wind's blowing. Chief people. I want all these parts done so I can just roll from just roll. Get a bunch of them done. 